Hi guys, this is Merlin, Old Fart Hacks is the channel. As I was saying, this is bracket off my navigator. This is the one for the rear end. And I don't want to beat these out, these bushings, because I don't want to break the bracket. So I made up the tool. This is, there's a video on that. This is the thing, it's, the holes here are 12 millimeters. The heads turn to 10.5 or 11.5 millimeters. We stick it in there, lock of that. Put the correct fitting socket, of course, to actually bridge over. You know how that is. Might as well use custom tools at all at all points. A couple of washers just to make things slipperier, perhaps. Maybe not. Who knows? And then we thread the nut on. La da 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 da. -da. For a juicy Hawaiian nut, Hawaiian punch, something like that. And the whole thing once stacked up. The trick is to get this started. And the way you do that is you put a wrench on the puppy. Put a wrench on the puppy. And give it a sharp turn. And I do mean sharp. And that will usually get it started. Of course, this one isn't starting. So let me get it started. I'll be back. Okay, it started. <laughs> Actually, it's flush, it's almost out. But the whole idea here is, again, to apply pressure without loading up the arm. And I think, yeah, we've just got it to the point where it will pull it out all by its little lonesome. And then it's just a matter of unthreading everything and sliding the pieces out can. I know I did this earlier. But anyway. Okay, there we go. There's the trick. Shoving the head back through so you can get the nut off the back end. And then you can pull everything out and you end up with the dead bushing. And these things are just Yikes, Max. You know, and this is why the thing wasn't pivoting, of course. Again, the process is, though, quite simple. We still have one bushing left. Put this in. Put this over. Add the nuts. If I'd had any brains when I was doing this, but you couldn't have done it that way, come to think of it, this would have been to uh, perhaps have found a nut or a, I should have used probably a socket head instead of a plain but it's sometimes hard to find just the right part to do that. I'll give it a little tap to get it seated. I'm trying not to, to uh, burr up that head because it does have to come through the hole. I think this one's working correctly the way I wanted it to. Now it's still turning the head a bit. Yeah, if you give it sharp, jerky motions, it will uh, slip or pull before it uh, starts to slip. But as you can see right here, it's turning. But if I put a little more pressure on it and then move sharply, it doesn't turn, it pulls. But anyway, this is the safe way to take these out instead of breaking the bracket. Sorry about bumping the camera there, guys. It's the old story working around the camera. It's funny that these things have enough friction that even at this point, with it 90% of the way out, it's still binding up a bit. There we go. And then as you saw, it's just a matter of unscrewing this enough to slide that out and get the nut off and take the thing apart. Anyway, 
name's Marlon, channel's Old Part Hacks. Thanks for watching. If you like this, give me a like, please, and perhaps even a subscribe. Bye-bye.